Hi, my name is Kendra and I'm from Washington State and I have been struggling with back problems for over 19 years. I was in a car accident when I was 15 and after the first surgery um, I had injured L4, L5, had just a percutaneous discectomy. Then after 10 years um, re-injured L3, L4, and L5 and then after having a baby um, a year and a half ago having a c-section I have been in constant pain to the point where I can lift my son couldn't you know go to work um, my ice pack was my best friend and as I uh, started doing some research uh, in the United States I knew that the um, ADR, the artificial disc replacement, was not a possibility for me because the FDA had only, the FDA had only approved one artificial disc per person, and I needed three. So I had just given up on the search until my neurosurgeon recommended I look into going to Germany. So I just started googling, and I found uh, European medical tourist Tim Vignair. And he turned me on to Dr. Bertinoli, and I am now in Bogen, Germany, and just had the three artificial disc replacement of L3, L4, and L5. And it's amazing. The um, I woke up after surgery and didn't feel any of the old pain. Um, I've been walking. We walked for 40 minutes. I'm sitting for 40 minutes. Um, I have just the type of pain they call distraction pain from being stretched out and I am taller now um, and it's just been amazing and my husband has been with me through the whole experience and he can kind of say from his end how it's been but basically I'm just I feel like I have a new lease on life because Dr. Burton only does this surgery and he's done three to four thousand of them so he's an experienced surgeon I just feel like I have another chance at a good life. I was kind of giving up and getting a little depressed there for a while when I couldn't function and have a social life. So, and this is my husband and he's been with me. The experience has been very good and, and everyone is very professional here and it's gone very well. And Tim McNair has been able to help uh, with some of the translations and, and talking, but even uh, uh, nighttime with the nurses, things like that is uh, it's good to have an advocate here to help the patient when they're coming out of surgery and things like that. So um, if that, is, if you're able to have an extra person with you, that definitely helps out. But it's uh, it's been great and, and it shows. Yeah, and so a lot of people think they're not candidates for the surgery. I would just recommend send your MRI, get an evaluation, um, you know, see if you are a candidate. I think a lot of doctors in the United States don't have a lot of them don't even know about artificial discs. Um, we're a little bit behind the times in the U.S. in that regard. Um, but I would just say there are, if you're feeling hopeless and helpless and depressed and you're in a lot of pain, um, send your MRIs and just see if you're a candidate because I'm just glad I had people around me that were smart enough to kind of nudge me along. My husband asked me, you know, if money wasn't an issue, would you get a fusion or would you do the artificials? And uh, I would do the artificials first as a chance to see if you know if that's the right fit for you. But now I have you know movement, and I'm hoping in the next year or so to be able to live an active life and be doing exercises. And they even said I could have a baby if I wanted to. So it's pretty amazing what it can do for you. So that's our story.